trip down memory lane from their last video. Um, I talked about Disney, Walt Disney and their theme parks. And this is just a quick um, show of all of their um, locations or their parks around the world. And so if you're in California, you know we have one in Anaheim, that's one in Florida, Paris, Tokyo, Shanghai, and Hong Kong. So if I misspoke before, my bad, here is the legit um, list. And then we also talked about in the last video a little bit about um, their movies. So I did a, a quick Google search and here's Disney latest movie. Um, so you have Onward, Lady and the Tramp, which they're coming out with, Frozen 2, so all my moms and yeah yeah that was good anyways um they had maleficent lion king toy story 4 aladdin Ugh, love it and then of course avengers so um just thought that i could put some context to what we were talking about so with that i am going to continue with the lesson um just trying to make it a little more interesting than um what it typically is all right so anyways in the last video we talked about how we have these internal service charges we do this so that we don't have to duplicate um, departments. We're going to centrally locate all of this now, maybe in corporate. And then as you use these different um, departments, such as purchasing, payroll, and legal, then your particular division gets a portion of the charges, right? And so this is the activity base. We said that um, in chapter four, we learned all about activity-based costing. And so the way we're going to divvy up all of our $905,000 in um, costs among the two divisions is based on the activity base or how they are splitting it up here. So for the purchasing department, we're saying that um, it's based on a number of purchase requisitions, payroll, legal, and we have the activity base, okay? So with that now, we're going to go to this next slide and now we're going to divvy it out. Now, the question says, how much purchasing, payroll, accounting, and legal are we charging each division. Now remember, at the end of the period, this $905,000 must be all of it, not any, all of it needs to be allocated to um, both of the divisions because they utilized all of these services, right? All right, so our formula, if you can remember back to um, chapter four, here's somewhat of our, um, our formula. It is service department charge rate is gonna equal our service department expense divided by the total amount. So let's take, for instance, the purchasing department. That's the very first one, right? So how we would section this off, it, it would be the total charge of 400,000 divided by the number, the total, service usage so for purchasing here it is and here's my total forty thousand different requisitions so if i did this math um maybe you guys are a lot faster than me so if i do forty thousand divided by forty thousand in um purchase requisitions the the amount of the rate would be ten dollars so therefore from here i will now go in and allocate this based on the usage so for instance the theme park division used twenty five thousand purchase requisition and the, the rate for that is ten dollars per requisition so we would do twenty five thousand requisitions times the ten dollars rate therefore their charge of the full two four hundred thousand dollars their charge would be two hundred and fifty thousand okay and then let's say we, um, and then the remaining amount, this 15, we would do the same thing, times 10, and their amount would be 150,000. Therefore, the full $400,000 have now been allocated between division. Theme park gets 250 and the movie production gets 150,000. And then you would do the same thing for payroll accounting. The payroll accounting overall amount is $255,000. Now, the number of um, paychecks that were issued in total was 15,000. So once I do this calculation, which we're going to do um, 255,000 divided by the 15,000 paychecks that was distributed across both divisions, the amount comes out to $17. 
right? So then based on this, we're going to allocate it based on their usage. So for instance, again, for the theme park, they use a total number of 12,000 paychecks. So we're going to do 12,000 paychecks times the $17 per paycheck. And so once we do this calculation, 12,000 times $17, their allocation is $204,000 of the $255,000. The remaining amount will go to the movie department. And then we'll do the same thing for legal. So hopefully you get um, my drift and where I'm coming from. But like I mentioned before, at the end of this, the full 905000 will be um, allocated between both of the divisions. Now, moving on, here is all of the allocations. So this is the summarized version of it, us um, divvying out all of the costs. And so you see here, um, the, the theme park division, we've already calculated the two. Oops. Um, in a prior slide, we calculated the 250,000 and 204. And so you see the last one we didn't do was legal, but this is how they're calculating it. And here's the, the calculation. So if I was to add both of these numbers up, the 479,000 plus the 426,000, I can guarantee you that amount will be $905,000, okay? All right. So moving on, once we have all of our, um, our service charges um, allocated to each department based on usage, we can now come up with a divisional income statement. And um, divisional income statements are important because, again, that's how we are evaluating how each department or division or region is performing. And so um, we have to be careful in how we compare divisions because a theme park division is a lot different from a movie production division. Um, it's not exactly comparing apples to apples. So companies must be really helpful in how they evaluate these things. But overall, this is usually what organizations do. They come up with divisional income statements for each of their product lines, okay? All right, so with that, um, I, I just wanna make sure I stop so I have enough time in the video, but in our next session, we're gonna cover investment centers.